Hey loves, today I have the Outre Sleek Lay unit in the style Giovanna and I've received this unit from divatress.com. Here I'm just showing how the unit looks straight out the package, the lace and everything. The only thing that I did to this unit was spray my lace tint and I sprayed the even lace tint in the color medium brown. I'm just cutting my lace into three sections. I really like to work on each section separately. Now I'm just cutting off that extra lace on the id tabs area on both sides of the wig, just so that the wig can actually fit properly on my head. I'm using the even firm hold spray to lay my lace down. And I really do like this even spray. I never had any problems with it and it also held my lace down throughout the entire day. Okay, y'all do not mind the mark on my dress. I ended up spilling mousse on my dress before filming. But anyways, I am going in with my elastic band and my blow dryer on the heat setting to give that lace that extra melt. So now I am cutting the lace. I like to cut my lace in a zigzag motion. I don't like to cut straight across and give that blunt straight look i just feel like this method is way more natural looking now i'm going back in with my even spray and i like to go over all of the areas that aren't fully glued down Okay, so the lace is looking a little light right now, but this will do the trick. This is the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation, and I love using this to help blend my lace with my skin tone. If you want to find all of the hair products that I use and all of the wigs that I review, it will be in my Amazon storefront, and that will be linked in my description box.
going in with my luster's wax stick and i'm starting to not put too much of this product in the hair because these wax sticks really do weigh the hair down especially with a synthetic unit so don't put too much So to enhance the party space just a little bit more, I like to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I try to blend the concealer with the stocking cap that I have underneath the wig. Like as you can see, you can see the stocking cap. So I mean it doesn't bother me much, but if it bothers you, you can just not put the stocking cap or you can do a bowl cap method. You want to be gentle when you are brushing the curls out. This wig did tangle as you can see right here. I got a couple of snags but I decided to just fully brush out all of the curls and it will look a little bit more like, well, I guess you can say like fuller or a little bit wilder but I do like the way it look brushed out. And yes, this wig did shed after I brushed out all of the curls. I like doing this step for the front of the hairline just to give the wig that elevated volume look. So here are the end results of this unit and I really really did like the way this unit came out. I mean, from the colorway, the highlights of this unit, and even the curls, everything on this unit, like I really did love. Just look at the highlights. It reminds me of a human hair highlight wig and I was like completely all for this unit. I honestly feel like you could get two to three good wears out of this unit. And I'm saying that specifically because of the curls, like it'll be a little bit more harder to maintain those curls. But if you wear this unit for like a date night and going out, whatever, this is the unit for that. I love that the highlight colors on this unit goes well with my skin tone and just overall this unit is so cute. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and stay tuned for my next video.